Hello world. Today we're going to goof off. Hopefully some people will join in with the fun. Let's see. So here's my idea. I'm going to hill test all the locos from Nantahala to Topton. Right? I want that. I want this. So the question is, the water's wet. How can the water be wet? It can't be the thing that makes a thing, whatever. All right, so here's the problem. We, how do we test these? Objectively. Um, one way would be, Make a super heavy train and see how far each loco can pull that train up this grade. But then we really have no way of marking it. You know what I'm saying? Unless I take screenshots and of the map and see where they stopped and overlay them. I, I just that's just a lot of work. So my other other idea is to maybe just make like a heavy train, I guess like 20 coal cars or something, and then see how how fast each local can pull it up. But I guess we need like a minimum. We don't know. We don't know the right. Uh, where are we? Go back here. Let's pick a loco. Let's pick, let's see, only locomotives. We're only interested in locomotives. Let's take the smallest one first, which is the, uh, it's either the 10 wheeler or the mogul, the C16 mogul. Let's place this sucker. Why can't I spin around? There we go. Spin around, select, select follow. The brakes are not on. Why did the game place the local with the brakes on? All right, now, I think we should maybe start with 10 cars and see how well this pulls it up. And then we'll take the Berkshire and see how well it pulls up 10 cars. And if the Berkshire can attain full speed, which, which it won't, right? Not with 10 coal cars. Great. I don't know why I'm picking toll car. Maybe let's pick tankers. Let's do t 10 tankers. I should have put them all together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, that looks so cool. Wait, wait, wait. Shift T. Um, where's the MISC? MISC. Early steel caboose? Place. We'll put a caboose on the end. Let's delete this one. We'll select this one. And let's fill this train. Red is good for a caboose. You have to select this. Mm, set load, right? Set load. Mm, set load. Set load. Over here, console. Set car condition. Set car load 100%. So it's set star diesel dash fuel. That was, that was, that was the tough one to figure out. I had to ask for help on that one. Um, set load. Do we have to pick the car? Set load. I guess as long as we have it selected. Star. Diesel. Dash fuel. 
100. What was the last thing in that? 100%. Applied to 10 freight cars. All right, so we did it. On the first try, holy smokes. All right, let's try this out and see. Should we start with full tenders as well? Yeah, I think we should. Fill. T T R R two T one. Did that on the first try? Holy smokes! All right, let's go. Let's do it. Forward. We out of here. Oh, this is heavy. This is not going to make it up the hill. We have to find the sweet spot. Maybe we should, like, make AI drive it up the hill. Maybe AI will do it the most efficiently. Instead of me trying to do it, I might have some variants. you go up in here? Oh, uh, cool. Nice. I have not been in here like this, I don't think. Can you turn these lights? Turn oh, it's got a light. I did not know that. How did I not know that? I don't think this is not this is not gonna make it. This is this is plainly obvious. Maybe we should do it with an empty train. Are we on the right track? Oh yeah, all right. We can't even get up to speed with this train. We should have saved the game at that spot. Oh yeah, this is a joke. <laughs> this is 3% here and we're done already. Oh man. Oh, this is pathetic. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> we're done. What's going to happen? What is the AI going to do if we start rolling backwards? It just put the brakes on. And it's trying to start again. The AI is going to be stuck in an infinite loop. I, I tell you, you know, the guys who programmed this game, or the guy who programmed this game, did a really outstanding job. It's really quite remarkable. All right, we're done. Let's just roll this sucker back. Let's empty the train and try it again. That didn't go far at all. That train looks good.
I, I wonder, I wonder if a Berkshire can even, Berkshire, can even pull this train up the hill. Oh, this is, this is a heavy mofo train. All right, select. Uh, set load 0%. Flight to 10 freight cars, 0 gallons. Okay, we're empty now. Let's try it again. Orders, road, forward, go. Let's see how quick it starts now. I wonder if there's a command to delete the whole train. We taking bets here. Is it gonna make it? I don't know, man. We boost this up a little bit. Filters gain. Look, this twenty. Hopefully, the game is a little louder now. All right, we're losing speed. We are not on the steepest part of the grade. Oh, yep, we are. I think that they can make it past this part. They might make it all the way. Oh, shit. We have a train coming in. We don't want this train interfering with our operations. Orders to stop. I don't know why I picked consolidations for passenger service, but I did. Oh, look at this. Done. Done. Hmm. All right, go, no, forward. Let's select this one. Wow, this grade, wow. Sorry, I've yet to haul anything up this grade. So I'm really not familiar with it. see if a Berkshire can actually haul this up. I, I kind of don't want to use less than 10. Why did it stop? Oh, because of the signal now. train in the block.
That other train is going to mess us up. We need to get, get it the heck out of here. Reverse. Get out of here. You're in my way. You're affecting the program. Orders. We'll try to start from the station each time. Alright, let's select this and go ahead and delete it. Oh, nice. We're losing all the air. <laughs> Let's try, let's try this sucker. We don't want to just send that thing willy nilly across the map. ladders work as well? Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. And you fall off. Oh, get on, come on. Yeah. Did you see the chair move? Oh. Oh, I didn't know that. That's kind of neat. Why are you stopping? Why? Why are you stopping, you dude? AI, you screw up. Are these like 20 mile an hour turns or something? Do I have to drive this train? Wow, even this engine is losing speed with these cars. Okay, we have way too many cars. I guess these are sharp turns. So we can't do the test with this many cars. This is painfully obvious now. This tells us something right here. If we can make it with this, that means if you want to take a 40 car train of empty, you need four engines pretty much. Doing 16 miles an hour. Oh, it's doing it. Oh, here comes the steepest part. 4.8, I believe. So this is going to make it. So we need to figure out 
how many cars can the C-16 pull up? I wonder if I, if I, if I made this, if I filled this train up. All right, we're heavy now. Is it going to stop? It cannot take fully loaded cars up. One engine. I didn't know these doors open. Uh, that's pretty cool too. It's just these. What else opens up? Does this side open up as well? No, only one side. Oh, we're still kind of pulling this up. I am lost as to how we can objectively test this now. think I think we can't really compare this logo to a C16 mobile maybe we need to compare everything from 16 to 25 and then from 25 to 55 or 51 whatever the highest tractive effort is so wait we made it up this but would we have made it up the 4.8% part? That's the question. That's the question. Let's go ahead and disable derailing and damage. I don't want to deal with that. And let's uh, take over control of this thing and go backwards. Here we go. <laughs> Anybody ever watch the hydraulic press channel? <laughs> Before he crushes anything, he's from Norway with that Norwegian accent. He's like, and here we go. <laughs> and you never know what's going to happen. I don't think this engine can pull this, to be honest. Holy crap, it's like a snake. It's like a snake slithering through the woods. 82 miles an hour. We're dumping everything. T 
taking a mile to stop. <laughs> All right, we're going to drive it. I don't like what the AI did. It was like the AI stopped. This is, this is a heavy MF train. Already, this isn't looking too good. Is it doing it? I think it's doing it. Walk away for a second. Doing two things at once over here. <laughs> 3D printing in the background.
This is uh, exciting. You know what? I think if we make it to the bridge, right? Let's see. Once we make it to the bridge, we are past the steepest part of the grade. So really, our pulling contest or test, not contest, really only applies to the steepest part. Taking random samples to all 3.9. But that one spot, really 3.9 3 should be the test because I think if you get enough speed, you can make it past the 4.7. Oh, 4.3. 4.6. Hmm. Yeah, crazy, crazy ass greed. Just have to do things a little at a time, I guess. We're not going to have enough engines to pull very long trains over this. We wind up having to break the train down. Wow, this is insane. So if you can't maintain speed up here... You're done. Wow. Holy smokes. 3.4. And then it starts to level out. Okay. I don't I don't know that this train can make it. Because once it gets on that long section of 4%, I don't know. I don't know. We could start another train behind it. We should start another train behind it. Start another train behind it. Let's put um let's put something here. So if something rolls back, it'll stop. Uh, select the brake on. All right, let's follow this up with a Berkshire. Let's see how well the Berkshire does. Get rid of this. Berkshire. Free. Single dome tanker. Wait, when I held shift, it placed five of them. Well, that was crazy. So if I pick, check this out. If I hold shift and hit plus, it gives me five, ten. There you go. Misc, early steel caboose. Boom. There's our train. That was crazy. Um, select this. First of all, select this. Let's stop it. Select this. And fill it. Fill. TTRR 2600T1. Then we're going to select these. Fill these. Apply to 10 freight cars. Cool. All right.
Let's do this. going to toot your horn, toot it like you mean it. This thing is pulling it way better than the diesel in my opinion right now. Steam train is a bit different because we have to work the reverser. But the diesel could only pull it up this part at like six miles an hour. Let's see how far we slow down with this thing. I think I have another idea how to do this test. Look, look, oh, the diesel is going to outperform the Berkshire. But also, also, we have to carry this tender, which adds to the weight. Is that a make or break deal? Holy smokes. We select this, right? Yeah, yeah, that's 706 tons. We're 300 tons heavier with the steam engine. Wow, what a consideration. What a consideration there. Huh. Okay, we didn't make it. How many cars do we have to delete to make it? Let's delete this car. Oh, you son of a gun. All right, we're still going backwards. We're gonna drop cars until we see how many it can actually pull. Can't do anything here. All right, we're starting to slow down now. All right. Is this it? So now we are approaching the weight of the diesel train. But why? Wait a second. We look at, you know, in, in the sandbox mode, it doesn't really give you the info. Oh, here's the weight. 
259 and the Berkshire is 597. So the Berkshire is 300, almost 400,000 pounds heavier than the diesel with around the same tractive effort. It doesn't show you the tractive effort here. We need to start writing this stuff down. Um, <clears throat> GP9 fold 10 cars. Berkshire fold 7 cars. What we'll do is we'll just Oh my god. How am I going to do this? Eh. We're not going to fit it all on the screen. Or maybe we will. Maybe we will. This is a grueling test, man. Nobody said it was going to be easy. So, max speed, 2.5. So if we if we get rid of one of these cars, let's see. Now we're 770, which is close to the weight of the GP9. We select is 706. We're still heavier than the GP9. GP9 is making it. I think the GP9 will make it all the way with 10 cars. And a caboose. So I need to change that. It's uh, 10 cars plus caboose. All right. Writing this down. Writing this down. Which is a caboose way, six thousand pounds. So that's not like a make or break deal. So really, maybe we should put tonnage. We need to put tonnage. Seven hundred six tons. We are seven 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 tons. Seven 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 tons. That's six cars. It's really the tonnage. It's about the tonnage. Where do I put this box? Okay. If I want to show it. There we go. We're just keeping track. We're keeping track here. This is seven miles an hour. That's not bad. That's this is better than actually pulled more weight a little faster than the GP9. But the problem is it weighs so much. We're going 8.6. Look at that. The GP9 was pulling 700 tons at like 6 miles an hour, right? Alright, let's start another train going up the hill. We'll just let him go. they wind up on the other side, so be it. I'm in the water again. Hello? All 
All right. Uh, we want to add, get rid of all this clear. Locomotives. So the Berkshire is 65,000 pounds of tra tractive effort. The GP9 is like, see, I don't know because what happens if I do this? Mode company. Oh, this stayed here like that. Look at that. Get rid of this. Now we go into this. Now you could see the tractive effort. 64,800. So it's almost identical to the Berkshire in tractive effort. And the SW1 is 49. Back in sandbox. Shift T. So what would be next? The consolidation or the Pacific? The consolidation, obviously. You know, if I was real savvy, I could calculate. Make like a calculator based on grade, tractive effort. I could figure it out if I put my mind to it. Right, hold down shift. You place five. We're not going to do the uh, caboose because I don't think it's going to. No way in heck. Select. Put your brake on. We want to fill this up. Why does it give me these long numbers? Six, eight, six, three. And then this select. Ha. Ten freight cars. Select follow, and let's go. Pretty badass loco, if you ask me. Let's get over here and see when we have to stop dropping cars. Did our diesel make it to the top of the hill? Oh, yeah. She's gone. <laughs> She's gone. Orders. Road. You select the right... I didn't actually select that. There we go, select. It's going 90 miles an hour. <laughs> Road. I'll just let it run. They made it over the hill though. That's That says a lot. Select. Orders manual. We're already starting to lose some speed here. We'll wait till it comes to a dead stop. We know it will. Somebody said on the forums once that the Berkshire wasn't set up to pull freight. It was a passenger locomotive. So that made me question whether it's all about attractive effort in this game, or are there design elements? 
to this based on the driver's size because we know that the bigger 10 wheeler thing flies it's fast and so is the smaller one by the way all right maximum torque setting on the reverser Happy spring equinox, by the way. We'll wait for it to come to a complete stop. This should be four point something, right? We're 810 tons. So this loco, loco is significantly lighter than the Berkshire, right? Let's see. Trying to learn here. This is 597 and this is 340. What a difference. The train stopped. All right, we're going backwards. So let's uh, kick a car here. Can we start moving forward? It wants to do something. It's trying to do something. Look at that. All right, let's drop this car. We're moving. So what did we just learn here? What did we just learn? We have eight cars. We have eight cars. Let's go back to our list here. C55. Fold eight cars. Six hundred and ninety tons. Well, because, because this engine is lighter, even though it has less tractive effort, we can pull more cars up the hill. This is, uh, this is interesting. This is interesting. So then it's not direct comparisons we're doing here. We're just, uh, we're learning, we're learning. Let's pull that reverser in one step. So the C C55. Did I did I num name that right? Yep, C55. C55. The C55 is a beast. The C55 is better for pulling freight than the Berkshire. Up the grade. Now, I, re I don't remember from my video what its top speed was. I'm sure it's less than the Berkshire. I feel, it. I feel like I need another cup of coffee. Yeah, we're good to go. This this guy can just you can huff it, man. Go for it. We're gonna let it run and up over the hill. And this guy's probably a runaway train at this point. Oh no, not yet. It ain't yet. But it's making its way. We'll give it orders to go up the hill. And it sh everything should stop. We had a... Oh, we have a train down here. 
Where, where's the Where's the train with the three consolidations? Oh, I guess I had brought it up and over the hill. Okay. And it, this thing is out. Look how good it's pulling this thing up the hill. This, this was a pretty interesting test. Let's see. All these cars smacked into each other. <laughs> All right, let's do the next loco, which is going to be the C51 switcher. We don't know the uh, tractive effort here. Clear. Nope, we don't want that one. We want the C51 freight. Did I pick the wrong... the wrong one uh oh i think i messed up bros broskies but it does come down to weight single dome tanker oh oh shit we we're supposed to pick let's see this one is okay single dome, dome tanker that's what we're picking right here. 8,000 gallon tanker. Hmm. Hmm. That's lighter. We need to do the diesel test over again. I screwed up, man. Let's stick with the single dome tanker since we have two of those already. We'll just send it up the hill, right? This. Free. Single dome tanker. Shift. Shift. Place. Here. Select this sucker. Orders. Road. I'm going to select this. What you doing there, buddy? Orders. It's rolling backwards. I feel like there's a mistake happening here in front of our face. It's going reverse when I said forward. That was weird, right? I, I didn't screw that up, right? Road forward. The AI went reverse. Come on. You saw it. Everyone saw it. I need to watch that back. All right, let's... So we're redoing the test with the GP9. And how much? Oh, we're 723 tons with these cars as opposed to 706 tons with the other cars. So I really don't think there's going to be a difference here. Except that I will change the weight on the text to 23. 723. Okay. And I wonder how much I'm affecting my computer by running so many trains at the same time. Come on, stay in it, buddy. You have to stay in it. That was so annoying. Just fucking go, man.
Are you guys uh, excited here? It's doing it. I actually ran and got a cup of coffee. Because this seems like... We may have to do this in two parts. I think we're going to have to do this in two parts. Where's the other train? We have three trains on this hill. Follow. You know something? I have I have a mod here that shows the fill percentage as a percentage. A fill level of the tender as a percentage. Better controls. I thought I had that. Maybe I got rid of that one. I didn't like that mod. Map enhancer. I don't think it was map enhancer. It was. It was this one. I could have swore it was this one. Options. Dang it. I think it was another mod and I might have got rid of it. I did un uninstall a mod. I didn't like it. All right. So, I don't know what the capacity is of this, but look how much it used to get up the hill. And it's making it. So it would make it the rest of the way because it's all downhill from here. So that's, that's good info. All right. These trains should all... Oh, they're all going to stop at this fusee, I guess. Yeah, that's good enough. We don't need to go all the way to the end. All right, we have one other train on the hill. The current diesel. And it's doing it. So I'm not really putting speeds down, but our gen so far our speeds are around 10. It seems like if you can get it started on the hill... You're going to wind up doing like 10 before you, you you can't pull anymore. I'm doing shift T instead of control T here. Oh. Control T. Hello? That was weird. All right, next up is the switcher. The switcher. How do you shuffle? What does shuffle do? Just shuffles the car around. So if I, if I take that out and then I put a locomotive in, I'm going to put it at the back. So we don't, we don't want that. Clear. The C51 switcher. Then single dome. Tanker. Place. And then we're going to select this fill 21. 21. Yeah, we need to fill them. We're going to select these. Now it's full. Select.
cardboard. <laughs> All right, seven hundred and seventy eight tons. Huh? How is this heavier than? Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, I thought it was heavier than the consolidation train. If you look at the weight of the S51 is 265. The consolidation is 340. So we're 100,000 pounds lighter, roughly, or less. 80,000, whatever. Do math. Math. math In cars. I think most 10 car trains are not going to be this heavy, probably, unless they're. I wonder what pulp weight is for par. Right, we're going to wait for it to come to a complete stop. Max torque. Still slowing down. Alright, let's get rid of one. Still slowing down. Two cars. Oh, starting to move. Look at that. Look at that. It's going. Hey, check this out. Select follow. Control F10. Hostilities. Close. Oh, this ought to be good. This ought to be good. Carnage. Get ready for the carnage. Too bad they didn't actually explode, right? They're not really going that fast, though. I think we're going to have to let another one off of this, this train. <laughs> Look at the, the levels of damage. The levels of damage as you go down the train. They absorbed all the shock for this one, which is still 100%. That's still 100%. Oh, that's interesting. Obviously, we didn't hit it hard enough. Oh, we really, we really kind of need to drop another... Because... It would run out of fuel before it hit the top, in my opinion. Bye. We're going to follow that in a second. Let's go where, where are we at? 594 tons. And we're at seven cars, seven tankers. 
seven tankers. Set the AI on and see how well it does. It's not really going that fast. The main thing is we want to see. If it can make it to the top before running out, right? And we want to see the carnage here. Let's see the carnage. Not really going that fast. We need to let one go from the top of the hill. <laughs> we have to disable the railing though. That's what we need to do. Leave the damage on. So destructive I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We are at 592 tons. Doing a pretty good job, but will it make it to the top before running out? You may have to adjust this. So this is the C51 switcher. C51. Switcher uh, seven cars, five hundred ninety one tons. Okay, this is where we're at so far. I don't even think I don't even want to test the little locos if this is all these things can pull. You're gonna need bigger, bigger logos to deal with this grade. Well, who was that guy, Cheesecake, that popped in my chat and said he took uh, 176 cars over red marble with a single mogul? So he must have been doing it like one at a time, obviously, unless he hacked the game or something. All right, we're at 10 miles an hour. Awesome. Let's set up our next train. We'll just see if it makes it to the top and then it's qualified. Otherwise, we may have to reduce that by one car. I do want to let a car go speed into this mess here but we, we all know what's going to happen right all right next up is c51 is going to be the pacific right or i wish these went in order jesus come on so annoying 43 yeah 43 Oh no, the decapod. This one. Three. Single dome. Place. Let's see how it goes. Oh, that sounds so bad. I don't like that one. Uh, 
playing with whistles, playing with trains. Oh, we should be pulling this in. Trying to get some speed up. Giving it every advantage. So far, the diesel is the winner. Uh, not because it can pull more weight, but because it can pull more cars. Aha! You heard me. I should put the, um, the AI at this point. The AI should do a good job. Oh shit, we're going fast. We're 765 tons, so pretty much it's going to stop, I would think. stopping what was the purpose for so many wheels more attractive effort I guess in that way this disregard let one go let the other one go Can't pull eight. Can't pull eight. Pulling, pulling seven. Five hundred and eighty-six tons, which a little less than the switcher. Uh, eight thousand pounds less tractive effort. Why, why would the AI reduce the throttle right there? Those AI, you are annoying. Because it, maybe because it wasn't getting the results it expected. Hey, who's that? Devaklin. Did I say that right? Hi. More traction. I'm working on my own sci-fi locomotive? Oh. Would you care to share pictures of that in my Discord? share what are you drawing it this is my discord by the way the snow piercer why does that sound familiar 3d modeling okay cool um, that's that's what I'm into 3d modeling so if you join the discord I have some stuff that I'm working on as well. Yeah, Snowpiercer. I'm looking it up right now. Image, Snowpiercer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, that's so cool looking. You, you need to join my Discord, bro. Join the Discord and then go. <clears throat> And go check out the Mid Journey channel. I'm gonna write Snowpiercer. I can give you some ideas, man. With it using AI. A three story locomotive. Oh, that's so cool. We had to get rid of a car here because we're not hitting 10. Oh, shit. All right. We just need to delete this. It's going to be in the way. All right. We are at 523 tons. And let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cars. And this is the... D forty six D forty six D forty six D forty six decapa. We don't, we don't need to put that. Uh six cars. Thank you. I, I got water. Oh, that's always good. To have more. Thank you. My lovely wife just brought me a nice snack. Uh, six cars at 522 tons. 522 tons. Okay. This is what we got so far. Screenshot it. Because I think I'm going to have to do this in parts. Let's do this onto another video here. I don't know how far down the, the list we want to go. Piercer, am I spelling it right? Piercer, uh, four, or you said three story? Three story steam locomotive sci fi. makes it to the top of the tree the hill by the way did this guy make it yeah we still got plenty of water and stuff so it's making it and that kind of came out pretty neat open browser See if I can show this on stream what I just did. capture room all right here we go check that out that's not what you're working on no I know I know it's not from the movie but that's what AI did in like two seconds can use it for like inspiration is what I was always like trying to point out. But 
but that's cool. I love that. I love to hear stuff like that. That's awesome. This thing is loud in my fucking ear. Holy crap. All right. We are at nine cars, 572 tons. Put this in there. AI is good for inspiration. And I have even almost straight up used some of it for things. This guy is at a, a red signal. We need to start deleting some stuff here. I don't know why this guy stopped. No, it's going now. Who cares? We should just go. You know what? We're going to end the YouTube video here because we did. Let's see. We did one, two, three, four, five. AI can't do what I want, and I won't use AI for any art related things. How come? Are you afraid of like copyright infringement and stuff? Because they're still kind of working that stuff out. All right, YouTube, I'm going to catch you on part two.